Okay, so we had Microsoft Ignite, which was conducted probably a, a week or 10 years back, uh, 10 days back. Now, this channel is all about helping you with cloud certifications. If you have not yet subscribed, do so. This also helps you with a lot of informative content around uh, hybrid cloud, generative AI, and in general, the trends in the market. So this is a view of Microsoft Ignite. So what was covered in Ignite? In short, they showed us a new feature called AI Foundry. So let us look at what is AI Foundry. In short, it is a platform that empowers developers to drive innovation and shape the future of AI. Okay. So okay, what the hell it is? We understood the description, but what the hell it is? What can you do out of it? You can build generative AI applications first. That means you can build a Gen AI application first. Second, you can not only build, not only test, you can deploy using cutting edge AI tools and ML models. And third is collaboration. You can collaborate with your team for a full life cycle of application development. You mean you can do it for collaboration for design, collaboration for build, collaboration for deployment, test, and so on. See, if you see uh, a year back or a year and a half back when we were trying to create generative AI applications, we had to write code, we have to call APIs and so on. Now, all the leading uh, companies, they are giving you that uh, easiness or user friendliness to create generative AI applications. And this guy is one of them. So if you're working with AI Foundry from Azure, this helps you do that. I'll paste this link. You can go through this and check how it works, how you can define and explore and build and customize. See the overall goal, the overall goal, whether it be Azure, AWS, IBM, any generative AI company or their product, they want to enable ease of creating agentic flows that means there are five or six or ten or twenty or hundreds of agents robotic agents and each can be called in sequence or in parallel etc logic can be built that is called agentic flows under the hood they all would be using llm so what microsoft did is it tried to close many gaps with azure copilot okay and then they also told that you know fortune 500 listen to me listen to me fortune 500 companies 70 percent of them are using copilot so if you think what should i use what should i start with should i start with ibm swatson x or aws bedrock or azure copilot this is the guy you should start with first but if you think that no i want to build a niche then you can go with IBM Watson X or AWS Bedrock. That way, there will be less demands, but even less people who are actually having that skill. So it's up to you. Okay. The third thing is Azure is giving a big, big push. For what? My friend, for what? For data fabric. They are telling, you know, Power BI is almost, they are giving free of cost to its clients. But their goal is that I will give you Power BI free but my friend you have to promise me to use data fabric that is their goal okay the all the money they will make is selling data fabric see as your copilot my friend listen to me again carefully copilot could have only worked uh, on cloud on azure cloud now they are telling you know ibm was saying Hey, buddy, my Watson X also works on premises. You know, banks, they are too scared to go on cloud for generative AI. Watson X was occupying that space saying that, guys, just use this on your premises, on your data center. Do not worry about security. It's all packed. The security is all built in. Now, Azure is trying to capture that market. They are telling, boss, we have a massive potential for hybrid and on-device AI. And we are adding that feature as well. So this is where they are trying to build that as well into their system. So there are n number of enhancements they are putting on Copilot. And then uh, if you see, they are creating partnerships. They are creating agents for those partners, whether it be SAP, Workday, and so on. 
okay what ignite could not tell us we had some doubts but what what were those which did not get clarified in ignite see a lot of clients when even our company is going and talking to clients or implementing something for clients the question is boss what is the roi calculation how do i optimize my costs okay now satya nadella did mention they have opened it for variety of llms but then uh, uh, they don't have something like an auto llm like what if suppose we don't make a choice there should be something of that sort and then uh, accuracy see our projects that we are running copilot is uh, struggling with accuracy every time okay uh, and this is one of the blockers where we do a proof of concept for a client but since the accuracy is not very high they do not convert into a productionized system so they in ignite uh, they did mention that guys this is now more accurate but how much can clients trust it now okay now there is voice virtual agent demo that with open api this was amazing on stage but was in industry where should we use it how should i plan it how should i integrate with other systems that know how was kind of fade okay and then some models they underplayed obviously they would just overplay their own chat gpt and those models or gpt neox models but some models they underplayed which they could have you know given some weightage more uh, not more than copilot but if they really thought that okay something like a facebook meta is really good i mean we are using it on other platforms so uh, like llama model from facebook meta they could have told Meta llama is excellent around these areas but they almost shied away doing that okay so those were our assessments around ignite and we did try to take uh, feedback from different leaders on various social media platforms and etc and, and collated these like these are not only what we feel this is also something which also comes from top leaders and uh, almost we are in sync of what we saw in ignite so a very good uh, innovative and collaborative session uh, on microsoft ignite this was good and it threw light on a lot of features remember this channel is all about helping you with cloud certifications there are lots and lots of videos around 1000 plus videos on practice questions answers how do we read out the wrong options and choose the right answers around aws azure google cloud certifications uh, so we are primarily dedicated there but we also keep posting the trends the technological trends in the market so that you are totally up to date of what's happening in this space in the generative ai space in the hybrid cloud space any other new technological transformation that is happening stay tuned we will post many more such parts